Hello, my name is Naim Komilipur. I'm the founder and CTO of AWA. Hear what you want, hear what matters. AWA gives people superhuman capabilities. This might sound like science fiction, but please hear me out. We enable people who are hard of hearing to hear the sounds they want in noisy environment just by focusing on them, giving them superhuman hearing. This solves one of the largest problems in the hearing assistant space, the so-called cocktail party problem, where in noisy environment, devices fail because they are not able to understand which sounds to enhance, which can lead to larger ramifications over years, such as social isolations, depressions, and dementia. We enable paralyzed people who still have control over their eye motion to regain a level of autonomy, allowing them to interact with their environment, such as steer their wheelchairs, open doors, and turn on the lights just by using their eyes and subtle comments. We allow everyday users, such as you, who are doing something as simple as wearing headphones, earbuds, or others, to control these everyday wearable devices hands-free and voice-free as easy as blinking. This overcomes the frustration of cumbersome interactions that require you to press buttons in order to do simple tasks like switching songs or answering a call while your hands are busy driving, cooking, or simply keeping warm in your pockets. Now, what if I told you that each of these scenarios could be solved by the same technology? Since the users in each of these scenarios share the common problem that their electronic device does not understand their needs, a solution can be developed to help each of them just by understanding their attention. Then their attention could be used for enhancing the sounds that they are listening to, moving a wheelchair in the direction a patient is looking or switching between audio settings based on your subtle comments and what you're paying attention to. AWA is developing such a solutions. AWA's technology collects and interprets brain and biosignals from in and around the ear of a user and then turns those signals into actionable comments, such as where a user is facing, looking, or listening as well as their subtle comments, such as intentional blinks. Our attention and intent tracking platform can be integrated into any headphone device, such as earbuds, headphones, smart glasses, or others, enabling better communication between other people or between men and machine. While our secret source lies in how we interpret these signals, in order to demonstrate its capabilities, we are developing a full end-to-end -end solutions with innovations in many fields of our technology. In order to pick up the brain and biosignals, we are developing novel sensors based on dry conductive polymers to increase the signal quality. The signals are then sent to our miniaturized hardware, which is housed in our ergonomic wearable device. Here, they are processed by our cutting-edge machine learning neural decoders. Finally, the decoders produce actionable insights from the brain and biosignals. These are then sent to the device as commands, for instance, in the case of a hearable device, to separate and enhance sounds of interest. To provide a better grasp of our solution, I will go into more details about each track here. To better understand how our technology detects where the user is looking, consider underlying physiology of human eye. The eye can be thought of as a battery with positive charge at the cornea and negative charge at the retina. These charges create an electric field across the human face and head, which can be sensed using biopotential sensors. Our unique approach detects the shadow of these signals from in and around the ears. Thus, when eyes turn left or right, 
they produce minor deflections in the head's electrical field. Detecting eye motions using these deflection patterns are easy when sensors are close to the eyes. However, moving further away from the eyes makes this task more complex. To detect the shadow of these signals from around the ears, we employ machine learning and AI in our unique approach. Significantly, we have found that these signals are stronger inside the ear due to the fact that they are both closer to the source of the activity at the eye as well as less susceptible to the noise from movement. To collect these signals from around and in the ears, because there are no off-the-shelf sensors that can do so with high fidelity, we are developing novel biosensor materials. To support these efforts, we recently won a prestigious designation as a national challenge from the Canadian government with a grant of $1.5 million in collaboration with Queen's University. To develop these sensors, we mix polymers with conductive nanomaterial fillers to create highly conductive sensors of different shapes and properties, including adhesiveness. These activities make us the second company in the field to do so, the first having been acquired in 2021. This makes us strategically important to all the companies investigating brain-computer interfaces, but are limited to uncomfortable off-the-shelf sensors. To support these advancements, we have also developed our own hardware, which has also seen dramatic advancements. Our design has been reduced to one-tenth of its original size, making it more suitable for head-worn applications, while preserving its ability to still support many functions, including multiple biopotential channels, microphones, and motion sensors. Now, having sensors and hardware capable of collecting brain signals, we need to house them in an ergonomic design. For hearables to assist people with communication, this step would involve our hardware sensors in an optimized configuration and would serve as a reference design to be provided to our partners. This brings us to the most important track of our technology that allows us to achieve our high accuracy, our neural decoder software. Our AI models can perform multiple tasks at once, such as understanding where the user is facing, looking and listening, and determining whether they are blinking. This is all done from a miniaturized footprint that is 100 times smaller and 1000 times faster than comparable neural decoders available in industry or the literature. Because of these properties, our model can make inferences within fractions of a second with significant accuracy. As a rule of thumb in machine learning, more data results in higher accuracy. And as we continue to test our technology with more people, our models will continue to improve. Finally, the decoded signal is translated into an actionable command to the device, which can then be coupled with our complementary acoustic technology. For our acoustics, we employ two methods. First, we use the signal processing methods such as beamforming, which uses microphone arrays to extract desired sound signals based on direction. Second, for situations where there is not significant separation between sound sources or where only one microphone is available, we employ novel approaches based on AI to separate sound sources. In both of these scenarios, we employ computationally light models to separate the sound sources in real time at the edge. Worthy of note, our acoustic technology can also be used independently from attention decoding to improve conversation enhancement in many devices, including laptops, smart speakers, and others. So, to imagine this full system in action, imagine being in a noisy environment where it is difficult to hear the conversation you are trying to have with a friend. 
Now imagine wearing your hearable device, augmented reality glasses, or any other headphone electronic with all the technology embedded into it. Our technology interprets your brain and biosignals to know where you are paying attention to from where you are listening, looking, or facing. We then separate and enhance the sounds of interest and suppress the distracting noises in a split of second, allowing you to clearly hear and focus on your friend's voice, the approaching waiter, or the background music, just by looking at whom you want to hear. Now, to see it in action, here are a couple of demos. In the first one, you will see me wearing one of our earliest prototypes, our lady with sensors located only around my ears. Using this device, we can understand which speaker of two competing voices I'm looking at to enhance the voice while suppressing the other. Find online when using spend standard a few tuning. Dollars on a decent standard tuning violin. from the top string to bottom I string is E, A, D, G, B, E. Hold the guitar in a sitting position with the guitar in your non-dominant leg. When holding the violin in the playing position, straighten your left arm, and the tops of your fingertips should be near the top of the violin scroll. In a second video, a user plays the arcade game Pong and by looking left, right, and blinking can control the paddle as well as navigate the game's menu. As you can imagine, this technology is far-reaching and we help the millions of people who are hard of hearing, where we can understand where they are paying attention to enhance the sounds from that direction. For the many wheelchair users, this means we can detect where you are looking to steer your wheelchair and use your intentional blinks to speed up or slow down. For everyone else, this means we can detect your eye motion to scroll through a virtual menu and then use blinks to select and operate different commands, giving you seamless control. In addition to all of this, our technology opens the door to many other applications. Since ear is considered the gateway to the human body and ideal for monitoring biosignals, we can use the same sensors to also detect other biometrics, such as heart rate, sleep quality, and more, dramatically improving how we understand day-to-day -day health. The attention of user can be used to reduce distractions and improve safety or productivity. Along with attention, we can also detect emotion and internal states, which can be integrated into products as well as many other applications. This game-changing technology has attracted the interest of many companies, including major multinational companies in the consumer electronics, as well as medical device markets, from whom our technology can revolutionize their product. Interest has even come from organizations such as NASA and the Canadian Space Agency. Thus, our technology is radically changing many markets, all the way from Earth to space. We are now improving our technology while developing different form factors. And now we are showcasing our prototypes to secure collaborations with our worldwide partners in hearables, augmented or virtual reality, or other wearable products. To bring this solution to life, we have a strong team of engineers and scientists in many diverse fields and are looking to grow our team in neuroscience, AI, hardware engineering, material science, and more. AVA is an infant baby that is growing up very fast. We have accomplished much and continue to have excellent growth. 
we are on our way to change the world. Support us to realize this dream.